Today's video from Sam Foresa. We're taking a look at thermal print head cleaning on the Sam 4S range of registers. Uh, so in this video I'm using the ER180U, uh, but the principles will apply to any um, cash register with a thermal print head. Um, so on the machine, if you're processing sales transactions and you're getting inconsistent print uh, on your receipts, so we can see here, this is what the receipt should look like. So it has cash, change, and then the amounts. Um, on this receipt, I've got a big block that's not printing. Um, and if I repeat the transaction, um, the error repeats. So again, I'm missing the L of total, and then I'm missing the actual sales amount, total sales amount, and the cash amount tendered. Um, we, we know it's not the paper because obviously we're getting some print. I guess in theory it could be a fault with the centre line of the till roll paper. That's highly unlikely. You, can, you could prove that was the case by changing the roll. Um, we also know it's not the way the roll's loaded. Again, because we're getting some print if you've got it loaded the wrong way round. Um, then you wouldn't get any print at all. What's happening is basically there's either a problem with the thermal print head, so all the thermal printing cash registers have a thermal print head in them that effectively burns the image onto the uh, till roll paper. So if that print head has become obstructed or dirty, um, then you can get problems with the print. Um, so sometimes you'll get one side of the receipt won't print out or a central bar won't appear or you might get dots or dashes or lines appear on the print. Uh, so there's a couple of things you can do um, to try and resolve the issue. The first thing I'm going to do is turn the machine off at the mains and then I'll turn it around and show you where the print head is. Get rid of those tool roll receipts. We lift off the printer cover, there's a catch up at the back that you lift if you were changing the till roll and then when you lift up the platen arm now you see you've got the platen roller here this is what feed helps feed the till roll through uh, then the actual thermal print head is this part here now on the video camera if I zoom in a bit give you a better chance of seeing it it's, it's not this black bit here, it's effectively the green part here. Now I've obstructed mine, so I've actually got something stuck to the print head, which is causing the problem. So if I remove that, my print head should now work. If you've got nothing obvious in the way, then you can take one of these thermal printer cleaning pens and just run, the, run it, it's like an, an angled edge, so it makes it easy to angle the pen, just run it across the print head um, to basically clean it. Because if you've got um, a build up of dust or um, bits of paper in there, anything that's in the way can obviously then block um, the image that's um, coming out on the till roll. So if we pop this back around now, pull the till roll through. Turn the machine back on. Um, the main reason for turning it off while you're doing that is obviously you don't want to short the print head while you're trying to clean it because um, that would totally ruin it. If I now just run through a test sale, what I'm looking for is that big blank bit to have got. So I'm hoping to see the full total and the cash amount. So that's what I'm now getting print out. And that's what I was getting print out. So I've been able to clear what was obstructing the the print head um, so the machine is now ready to use again um, so obviously that won't work in every situation but that's the first thing to try because replacing the print heads are quite um, expensive and a bit tricky to do so your first port of call is to to try and clean the print head area um, so yeah hopefully that video has been helpful uh, we've got plenty more videos showing how to get the best out of the sam 4s range of cash registers which you're welcome to check out you can also subscribe to this youtube channel or visit samforishelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.